Hey, what's up, man? It's your boy, Mark Lamont. Welcome back to Elbow Media Studios. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for another Beatmaker 3 tutorial. I just want to thank everybody, before we start, for all the new subscribers and all the great comments that y'all been uh, uh, writing for, for the channel and for this series. So today, we are going to look at how to take a sample and chop it up and break it apart so that you can create your own banks and you could uh, use these samples in all different type of ways. So let's not even waste any more time. Let's get to it. All right, guys, let's look at chopping up some samples. Uh, this is the most exciting part, if you ask me, about working with Beatmaker 3 and just working with different type of sounds and being creative and essentially trying to find something that's unique to what you do um, as a producer. So <clears throat> let's jump straight into it. Uh, last tutorial, I showed you how to download samples and how to put them into Beatmaker 3 and how to use them. Today, if you haven't seen that, please go back um, and watch that tutorial. I will leave a card here so that you can click on that. If you haven't seen that tutorial working with samples, downloading samples into Beatmaker 3. But now we're going to go ahead and Assume that you've already watched that tutorial and you already have some samples on your iPad ready for Beatmaker 3. And we're going to jump straight into chopping up samples. So let's go ahead and go here to the folder section and we're going to go to imports. And I've already downloaded a sample. I put it in Beatmaker 3 samples one. OK, and it's this trap uh, drum, this trap drum kit. I'm going to go ahead and pull that in. And this is just something I downloaded from YouTube where it's just a just a collection of a bunch of samples. Okay, as soon as you go from there, this is where you're going to end up. It shows your pads here on the left hand side, and then it shows your waveforms for your sample here. And then you have a lot more controls here, like some of the things that we talked about briefly in the getting started tutorial. Well, this is essentially where you start to chop your samples and you can start collecting your own sounds you know from other different collection of samples that you've maybe downloaded or you've created yourself so let's just look at some different ways we can do that as you can see over here we're going to kind of concentrate in this section over here we know we have some snares and some kits or uh, kicks over there but we're going to focus on this area so as you can see here we have an s for start so i'm going to take that start slider and i'm going to pull that over to this section here and then right here at the bottom we have a slider for end and so that's the start of the sample end of the sample we uh, sample so we're going to just go ahead and just grab that guy if it allows me to do it okay there we go we're just going to go ahead and grab that guy and then we're going to just go ahead and squeeze in on that so we can take a look at what we're working with and as you can see right here we already got a sample here that we can actually look at so let's just go ahead and pull that over Let's go get that slide. Uh, let's go get that in. I can't talk today. Let's go get that in slider and we'll pull it over and let's preview that. Okay. Uh, and again, let's just let's just look at a few different sounds uh, and see what we like and what we want to pull over. We'll come over here and let's pre preview that. <laughs> okay. Sounds like Mario. Let's see. OK, and let's just say we want to take that sample. That's, that sounds like a fun sample. So let's look at maybe taking this sample. We want to put that sample on just this pad and not have everything else playing. As you can see, it's already there, but it, it's not really embedded into this bank. So let's go ahead on and, and edit it a little bit more. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and push the edit button. All right. And that's going to pull us into this entire section. And then we're going to go ahead and pull that out just a little bit more so we can refine the sample. Make sure we have our start locator right where we want it, right at the edge of that sample. And let's just pull it over a little bit. We know we got it stopped in the right spot. We're going to go ahead and preview that again. OK, and let's just go ahead on and trim that. And as you can see, once we trim that, it extended it out. Now we, we've gotten rid of all of the other samples that were in there. Let's get out of edit mode here. And as you can see, we're out of edit mode and that sample is the only one that is sitting here now. And if you go ahead and hit the button. Okay, and it's just that easy taking a sample that it could be a song, it could be anything. You could just kind of 
squeeze, keep squeezing, squeezing in until you get the part of the sample that you want, trim it, and then now it's on a pad. Let's just look at adding some more stuff to this bank. Because remember, what we talked about last time is that you have a, a bank, a sound box that everything kind of lives in. So let's just go ahead and add, let's take that same sample that we were using just a second ago. We're going to pull that into the next one. Now, we already know that this is a long sample, so we're going to go straight into the sampler, right? And we're going to be like, okay, so we, we know that we have that, and, and that Mario was kind of sitting in this section right here. Let's just go ahead on and pull our start over here, pull our end over there, and let's see what else is in here. Um, well, we can kind of listen to it. Okay, I kind of like that right there. So let's just go ahead and pull that over a little bit and then let's get our in slider right here and let's preview it again i like that all right so let's go back into edit mode let's just refine it make sure we are right there you just want to squeeze that in you don't want to leave any extra extra space let's preview it again i like it I think we could move it over just a tad bit right there. Let's do another preview. Yeah, see, we had like a little clipping. We don't want any clipping. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and trim that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out of that. We're going to go into trim again, and we're ready to go. Let's exit out of the edit mode. Now we have the Mario. And now we have the other sound. And it's just that simple. And we can continue to keep building on our, our bank full of samples if we want to. Let's just do one more just to make sure we got it. We're going to pull that same sample over. We're going to go back into the sampler. We already know we got a few things here. Uh, let's see what else we got on the back end of this. Sounds like we got some pretty cool sounding things back there. So let's see. Hmm. Got like a little siren going on there. Let's see what else we got. Tambourine. Okay. We're almost towards the end, so let's check the end out. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're going to grab that portion of it. We'll just take that portion. Now, the reason why we go into the refine section, we can go ahead and trim it here and, and essentially be done with it, but we're not going to do that. We're going to refine it because we want to make sure that we we are dead on it. And it looks like we're dead on. Let's go ahead and preview it. I think we can bring that in just a little more. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead on and exit out of that. We're going to go ahead and trim that. Boom. We trimmed it. Now, if we go back, exit out of edit mode, we got Mario, got that sound, and we got that sound. Now, remember, we are essentially building up our own sound banks, and, and at the end of the day, you can save this and use it in any track you like. Let's go, <clears throat> let's go look at maybe putting in some more samples. Let's see where do we have some samples at. Let's see. Uh... Okay, we gotta like let's let's just start building on this uh let's start building on this one kit so we're gonna take that kick right there put it here let's see what else we got in here oh we got like a little snap a little clap remember all i'm doing is going through the samples that i've already edited essentially creating a, a bank let's see bring that, that hi-hat in there let's look for a got like a little kick right there let's bring that kick in and let's see what else got a another snare let's bring a snare in so essentially right oh this sounds good to me i don't know about that kick though Oh, I like that right there. Let's bring that in. Okay, 
So as you can see now, we've essentially started to build upon our, our bank, <clears throat> just like we were talking about before. So now your question is, all right, Mark, so how do we save this bank? And then we could essentially use it anywhere we want to use it. All we have to do is hold down that bank button, and then we can just go in and we can rename it. Let's call it, uh, let's call it Beatmaker. Uh, we'll call it Beatmaker Bank Test, okay? All right, now we have it renamed. Now all we have to do is go in here and we can save it. Save it, it's gonna say Beatmaker, what do you wanna do? You wanna save it? We're gonna say, yeah, save it. Boom, now it's saved. So now the question is, how do we find this bank to use it in another song? Let's go ahead and just go to a new one. We're not going to worry about that. Remember, we're going to go, it's just like we started from scratch. We're going to go into the banks. Uh, let's get into the banks. Let's get out of here. We're going to go into search. We're going to go into banks. And as you can see, we have our bank right here. So if we click on it, pull it in, there it is. It is ready to be used in a song. So essentially, that's how you take a sample, chop a sample up, create your own bank with a, a lot of samples. I mean, you could create, you could literally create 60, 70 samples in one bank and have that bank always ready to be used in any type of track that you want to create. This was a quick tutorial on how to take a sample, chop a sample up, put it in your own bank and essentially use it in your own songs. Okay, next tutorial, we're going to cover the sequencer. Okay. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so when we drop videos like this, you'll be the first to be notified. Hey man, I appreciate y'all for coming by and checking out the channel. My name is Mark Lamont. This is Elbow Media Studios. I'll see you guys in the next video, alright? Alright, one.